All right. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the great millstone. And honors to your brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and the truth. We keep pushing. We are almost out of here. And this lesson is going to be on, uh, you know, not basically staying humble, man. And, and, and not trying to make yourself equal to the elders or, 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 or really just great men, man. Because really that's a form of pride when you see a man who the Lord been dealing with for 20 years, hell, 10 years, 15 years, and here you go one year, two years, thinking that you on on the same level. You're not, man. You know, or, or shooting the shit. You know what I'm saying? Or playing, you know, you know, just you think you can play around and all that on that level, man. And really you can't. And this is what the scriptures say about it. Ecclesi this is the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, Sirach, chapter 32, verse 7. Speak, young man, if there be need of thee, and yet scarcely when thou art twice asked. Um, let thy speech be short, comprehending much in few words, be as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. So it's telling you, speak only when there's need of you. And scarcely when they when you're being asked to talk, man. So it's telling you, hey, make your speech short, comprehending much, man. You know? And then it goes on to say, if thou be among great men, make not thyself equal with them. And when ancient men are in place, use not many words, man. Because if you meet the man who's been his truth over 20 years, man, 15 years out, it, it ain't really too much. You can tell him, you know, I mean, that's just the truth about it. And, you know, we are brothers and we, we talk. But the scripture, there's there's an order to this thing. And that helps you stay humble, man. When you're able to look at a man and know that the Lord is dealing with him on that level, man, and, and accept it. And instead of looking at him like a proud guy does, and, and it's like, uh, well, you know, hey, the Lord dealing with me just like that. The, the Spirit taught me, you know. And we were speaking earlier, you got a lot of camps out there, right? So, and you got a lot of brothers who done joined camps. Maybe like uh, they've been in truth for a year, six months, two years, three years. But then you have a head of the camp who done been in there for eight years, you know, or whatever. Who started the camp, you know, who, who's the head. So, hey, if the Lord done set that man up to be the head, or even if the former head fell out and he's now the head, do you know what that means, man? That means, hey, that's a statement being made right there in itself. Hey, this is who the Lord got doing this thing, man. You know, so that should, you should be humble, man. Like, nothing happens by coincidence, like Esau likes to say, man. Oh, maybe it's just coincidence. No, it's not, man. It was all set up through the power of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, man. And it's going to play out. His will. So stay humble, brothers, man, and don't don't be putting yourself on a pedestal or trying to uh, seek preeminence or make yourself like you on a level. Now, man, we this truth is ever learning, and we all got to keep going, man. We all got to learn. We all got plenty of things that we need to experience and, and grow in. Cause, cause, man, we get attacked by demons. The longer you go, the stronger they grow. So anyway, but uh. Hope Lord will you brothers was edified by this lesson. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors to you brothers who are out there doing the work in sincerity and the truth. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Barakatham, Shalom.